Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error with Black Ops 6 game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to uninstall programs like Faceit, Anti-Cheat, RE, WASD or DS4 Windows. So if you have these application install, uninstall it. So in my case, I can I have this. So you can simply make a right click and then click on uninstall and uninstall this software from your windows. So so uninstall both the software. Now once uninstalled, you can restart your computer. Once face it is uninstalled, you have to restart your computer and after the system restart, you have to launch the game. Now if you have any other application like REWSD or DS4 application, uninstall it. Also if you have any overclocking application running on your computer like MSI, Afterburner, Reward Tuner, you can close your overclocking application and then launch the game. Next step is to now this is for Game Pass user. You can follow the steps from this video. I made a separate video on this. So you can open this link in a browser and then you can follow the steps from here if you have the game on Xbox app or Microsoft Store. Now the next step is to repair or verify the game files. Now go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Do not ignore this step. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So verify the game files from here. Now, if you have battle.net, in that case, you go to settings and then you can click on scan and repair. And once the repair is complete, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to modify installation. Now for this, if you have the game on Steam, then go to Steam, select the game and scroll down here. You can see DLC, click on manage my DLC and uncheck all non black ops game so here you can see i have selected only black ops 6 and all the content related to black ops 6 the rest you can uncheck it i have unchecked other games and then just keep black ops selected and once the update is complete you can launch the game and then check similarly if you have the game on battle.net if you have an option let me check if you have an option modify install modify install and again uncheck all non black ops 6 games so only put a check on black ops 6 and then you can confirm and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now, once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run the exe file once you run, run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to AMD users, you can try this AFM2 driver. So in Google search, you can just search this in Google and then go to AMD website. And here you can see, uh, find the exe file. So here you can see AMD software AFM2 for Windows 10 or Windows 11 64 bit. You can download this. And then once the download is complete, you can run this file, install it and then restart your computer. 
and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so if the game install is c drive wherever the game is installed open the game folder steam i have the game on steam so steam apps steam then steam apps then common and then open the game folder and then select the exe file and then click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added you can click on the game select click on options and then select high performance over here and then you can launch the game now you can even check like if there there is any other exe file mp24 select this mp24 exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance and then click on save and then check next step is to read restart steam or battle.net so first of all close steam you can go to steam and then click on exit and once the steam is closed now you can type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator and then check similarly battle.net you can just close battle.net and then you can type in battle.net and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check next step is to uncheck from steam and the game exe file so type in, first of all close steam if steam is running close steam and then you can type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on open file location now again make a right click on steam and then click on open file location now make a right click on steam and then you have to now make a right click and then select properties and then go to this tab and then if this is checked over here you have to uncheck this box and then hit apply click on ok do the same thing with the exe file so make a right click on the game select manage and browse local files and then scroll down find the exe file make a right click properties if this box is checked you have to uncheck this box then hit apply click on ok now scroll up and then open this mp24 and then find the exe file cod cod where is the exe file there was cod 24 exe file let me check so find this mp24 cod and then make a right click select properties and then you have to uncheck this box and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now again go to steam or battle.net just go to your game installation folder and once you go to the game installation folder uh, make a right click on the game exe uh, just make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work go to properties and then put a check over here run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again and this this time put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work open this mp24 folder and find that exe file once again so in my case it's uh, at the very end it takes time to get this folder now now once you find the exe file make a right click on the exe file that mp24 cod and then select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work go to properties once again this time put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then launch the game from here if that does not work then do the same thing with the first exe file you have to uncheck go to properties and uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step next step is to 
when you launch the game if you receive a prompt to launch in safe mode try it so when you launch the game if you see this do you want to run in safe mode click on yes and try to launch the game in safe mode sometimes it works so you can try this next up is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 windows 10 update in security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browser apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps open this mp24 select this mp24 cod file open and then type in control panel in windows search box and then open control panel and then click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again select the game exe file click on open now click on add in my case i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this mp24 select this mp24 cod file click on open click on add in my case i have already added the game now once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is very important so open windows settings and then go to windows update or, or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file now this is important so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser scroll down and download this x64 and x86 you have to install both the files so click on it and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install do the same thing with the x64 file download it and once the download is complete run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once it is installed you will see a restart option restart can be a restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game next step is to disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disconnect if you have extra controller connected to the computer if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of external usb adapter connected disconnect disable steam overlay now for this go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable this steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also if you have any other overlay application running like discord g force experience so close all the other overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any kind of third party application or software running services running close it if you have under voltage computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 
1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3, that is 49152, 49152, 49152. Now click on set over here, then click on OK, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer, make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system bio. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you go to your system manufacturer website. That for example, if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. Select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS. Find the BIOS and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to C drive or try to install the game to another SSD. So do not ignore this. This has worked for a few players, so it might work for you. Make a right click, then select manage, then click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. Restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive, like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.